The Porsche Taycan is a game changer in the electric car segment, not just for its performance, which is remarkable. It's the first EV to utilize an 800 volt charging system, and the network is popping up. At an event in Los Angeles, I stopped to top off in beautiful downtown Burbank, uh, well, a Walmart. Porsche's Calvin Kim shows me the ropes. These are the fast chargers. Yeah, these are the 800 volt chargers, the infrastructure that'll help power the Taycan. And you can tell because down here, you'll see the sign that says up to 350 kilowatts. Okay. The other option is only 150 kilowatts. I open up the app that shows the location that we're at. And then you can see that we're certainly here at the Walmart in Bourbon, California. Uh-huh. And then it'll give you the details of all the chargers that are available. And if we look up at the top, we can see that we're at zero two. So I'll go ahead and click zero two. Okay. And then you can swipe to start charging. It's authorized, it's initiating, please plug in. So you're gonna grab that. You're gonna come over here and swipe underneath. Flip that down and plug in. That's a hefty cable. There's a lot of juice going through that cable. Yeah, no kidding. And then in a period of time, about 30 seconds sometimes, it'll just start working. Okay. And I am at 24% charge right now. Mm -hmm. how, how long will that take to uh, go up to 80%? So far, we haven't seen too much more than 20, 25 minutes. Yeah. And about how much range is that for this car? Well, it all depends on how you drive, honestly. I mean, we started off, you started off with about 100%. Yeah. And you drove almost 180, a little over 180 miles, I'm guessing. Uh-huh. Um, and you're at, what's your percentage now? I was at 24. So yeah, so you 75, 76%, 180 miles. You've still probably had another 60. It said 67. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, 80% would be 100. 70 more, 170 miles you'd be adding. Huh. Yep, so it started. When you buy a Taycan, you get free electricity, right? Yep, uh, with Electrify America, you get three years of 30 minutes. Okay. So, and as you'll see, you only need about 20 to 25 minutes of that. Right. So I think the 30 minute limit was very strategic and it's not a hindrance it's at all. It's to get people out yeah. of the chargers. Yeah. Yeah, and most people are gonna charge at home. Yep. This is strictly for, well, primarily for destination charging. Yeah. Uh, and obviously we're by one of California's most busiest freeways. Yeah. Uh, the 101's and a really close by and the five, yeah, exactly. And an Ulta. Yeah, and a Best Buy. Yeah. I need to go get some shampoo or something. <laughs> and the idea is, is if you're coming from far further south, 150, 80 miles south or north, and you're going the other way, this is that spot that you'd fill up. So we're charging up. 193 kilowatts, which makes sense because you weren't at a very low state of charge to get the maximum benefit. Uh -huh. uh, but still, it'll sit around 190 for a little bit and then it'll start tapering down gradually. Okay. Uh, right now you've been on the charger for four minutes. You've gone from 24% to 39%, so 15% uh, percent increase. Uh, 149 kilowatts is how much is going through the, through the line and 13.5 kilowatt hours is what you've added. Um, and that's, that's cost us a quick. buck. Yeah. While we were at 200 kilowatts for the first 10% or so, it's dropped down to 150, and it'll sit at this level for another few minutes, uh, and then slowly r ramp down from there. And that's to protect the battery. Yeah. So if we started lower with the hotter battery, it would have been able to uh, increase the current earlier and stay at that higher level for a little bit longer, but. Kind of like you said, no matter what, it's going to want to protect the battery, so it would ramp down gradually from there. Sure. Uh, right now, we're just kind of cruising along at 150 kilowatts, um, and it'll sit there quite comfortably for a few, for the majority of the charge, actually. I was able to drive the Taycan on the famed Angeles Crest Highway, and due to a fluke, there was almost no traffic, so I pretty much had my way with the road. I'll put a link right here at the end when I've posted the full review so you can find it easy peasy, or I suggest subscribing and then clicking the bell so you're notified when it pops up. In the meantime, hope you enjoyed this glimpse into the future of electric vehicle charging. I'm Tom Volk.